Okay guys, we've got some blue sky out there. Here we've got the 36, 38 inch driver. We'll just bomb a few of these down here. Hope you can see them. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Oh, does that hurt? Should be able to see the ball. 38 inch driver guys. And look how comfortable I look at a dress. If you can see that ball flight, but uh, if I can give a running, oh, a running commentary on it, that is what Mo Norman would call uh, frozen rope, straight. I'll hit a couple of different angles, guys, because I don't know what the camera's picking up. I'm doing well considering I'm, I'm injured, and I am injured. We've got a left to right wind here guys, uh, not much, about 20 k's, um, but it, that's why I'm just sort of trying to hold it back into that wind. Guys, wouldn't you like to hit the ball with that lack of drama? <laughs> wouldn't you like to do that? I mean, how, how simple is this? No question in my mind that the reason people don't hit drive as well is they're too long. And most, nobody's ever been super consistent with the driver. Exception of Mo Norman and Count Yogi. And Mo Norman used to grip all his clubs down anyway, even his irons, but his driver used to grip down a couple of inches, so he always wanted the clubs to feel shorter anyway. He never played any of the, the long shafted clubs when in the natural golf days, he always had a shorter shaft in his driver, and he gripped it down. So Mo may, maybe had 40, 43 inch <clears throat> shaft in his driver and was gripping it down inch and a half so he was playing short anyway but not as short as this I'm struggling with the swing guys but and again this is testament to channel lock how how good it works after a break Now the ball goes flatter because it's stiffer. If I had a softer tip shaft in this, and at the moment I don't know what this would be, but it would be, I don't know, probably you know, 290 CPM. It's really stiff. And down the bottom, I mean, I don't even know what it would be down the bottom. The wind is cross head into us and across hard. It's come up quite a bit now. Don't get any better than that, guys, does it? Goes the same distance as my normal driver. What about that for ball flight? With an injured, uh, injured back. But let me tell you, guys, it just feels like, oh, it just feels like <laughs> you're going to hit it straight because you're so close to it. I don't know if so, I don't know if so close is the word or the terminology or the description I think it's just the balance like normal driver we're sort of here here I feel unbalanced there here God I feel unbelievable I feel unbelievable my back just pinched me then guys I might miss hit this that really when I squatted then Well, I say beware the, the injured tiger. <laughs> tiger, me, me tiger, more like a, a domestic pussycat. Oh, Johnny, 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 Johnny. So guys, all this filters down to that theme that we've had, that I've had for a long time now, maybe over a year, where I'm gripping all my irons down to Cobra one length, uh, which is 7-iron. I grip everything down to 7-iron. And so my driver is actually a 6-iron. 
And one of the guys that I, the last guy I taught uh, recently, he just bought the new Cobra um, 19 degree hybrid 7 iron length. Guys, it was just unbelievable. The new F9, just an amazing, amazing golf club. I was smashing it and it was so easy. And it was the coldest, windiest day I've ever had on this practice tee. It was just blizzard conditions and it was just boring holes. I'll just hit one up here and you can, maybe you can see how I um, how I uh, how I look front on with this in terms of balance and proximity to the ball. I'll hit it straight over the camera. Now this is how I measure out guys. Again, might as well while I'm here um, for people that have trouble getting the ball in the right position <coughs> I take my grip here then I put the club down and I put that trail foot in in position and then I basically just walk away from the trail foot I walk, you, can, you can be open you can be closed I like to I like to be I like to have my trail foot back and my shoulders closed now guys that's it's going to cause an accident on the freeway. I wish. It's about 350 of the freeway. See that? But see how balanced I am over the ball. That was interesting. That went really, that ball went normal height. But I, uh, I think I just had a little bit more pull out of my lead arm then, which gave me a little bit more. Um, delivered a little bit more loft to the uh, to the shot let's go this way a little bit but look at the balance guide look. yeah about here trial foot in bring the lead foot up then just bring the trial foot back pre-cock thirty eight inch driver if you've got an old shaft, don't cut up a good shaft. If you've got an old shaft, I've got my buddy who's got the, the latest Callaway Epic drivers. He's got a couple of pricey shafts. He wants me to cut one of them down to this, to this length. He's a, it's one of those, um, one of those super duper, uh, oh, what do you call it? Oh, it costs a fortune. I think as an upgrade on a Callaway club, they're about 220 upgrade the shaft. Just want to think what it is. It's a Project X something. Um, yeah, I'm reticent to cut it down, but guys, front on. Front on. That's really good on my back, keeping that right foot down. One more. Okay, JH. A little bit downwind here. Let's have a fly that tree. Oh, take pictures of the tree. Just took pictures of the trees that went over. Okay guys, 38 inch, <laughs> 38 inch uh, driver, it's crazy stuff. Okay, just thought I'd show you that. But I'm not back guys, but uh, I just got a bit of a leave pass today. But this is the last time you'll see me between now and next year. All the best everybody, and all the best to Bill Phillips. <laughs>